guys, it's Kristen. Welcome back for another DIY video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about sublimation. If you're unfamiliar with what sublimation is, it's a way to permanently transfer a design onto either a t-shirt, you could do coffee mugs, phone cases, um, tumblers, pillowcases, blankets, all sorts of things. So it's a way that you permanently transfer the design onto it. It'll never come off. It's not like vinyl or the iron-on like transfer sheets, things like that that might peel off or flake in the wash. This is actually a permanent thing, um, permanently dyes it. I'm really excited to go into more detail with you today. This video is in collaboration with Wacoke. It is a brand on Amazon that sells all sorts of sublimation supplies. In particular, they sell sublimation inks in different sizes. Uh, they also sell sublimation paper. So I'm gonna go into more detail about how to use the ink. We're gonna talk all about the Epson EcoTank 2760 printer um, and how to convert it over to a sublimation printer using the Wococke inks. And I'm also gonna show you how I print a design onto the Wococke sublimation paper and how I press it onto a t-shirt. So this video is going to be a complete beginner's guide to sublimation where, like I said, we're gonna convert the printer, we're gonna print a design out, we're gonna use our heat press and press it on there, you'll get to see step by step how to do it. So let's jump right into the video. All right, so I've pulled out the Epson printer from its box and we're just gonna go ahead and get everything taken off. So all the plastic, all the little pieces of tape, um, it's all over, so we're just gonna go around and do that. Okay, so we have our printer, all the pieces taken off, the plastic and the tape and all of that. So now it's time to go ahead and convert our printer into a sublimation printer. One of the things that I really love about the Wococke sublimation inks is that they actually come in a bottle that is ready to go right into this Epson EcoTank, um, I think it's 2760, printer so um, you don't a lot of videos and and tutorials and things that I've watched have you actually um, clean out the Epson bottles empty them wash them out and then pour your sublimation ink into the Epson bottles in order to be able to fill up your um, ink cartridges but the Wococke sublimation ink actually comes in a bottle that fits right onto the little um, nozzles where the ink goes. And so um, there's no transferring, no washing bottles, no getting ink everywhere. You literally just pull this right out of the package, put it into your Epson printer, and it fills up the cartridge just like it's supposed to. So let's do that now. So now all I've done is taken the lid off of the Wococke um, ink and it actually just fits perfectly on these little nozzles here. So you just tip it upside down, press it onto the nozzle, and it will drain right into the ink cartridge and it will stop when it is filled. All right, so we have our printer all set up, the ink finished charging, we did some different test prints and that sort of thing. I just followed the prompts on the um, screen that it gave me. So I have my Wococke sublimation paper that I'm gonna put into my printer, just like so. And I have my design on my computer. I'm just gonna click print and um, we'll see how it looks when it comes out. Another project printed it is going to be a lot more muted on the paper than it will be when we press it onto the t-shirt so let's move over to our heat press and put it on our t-shirt now it's important to note to be able to use the uh, sublimation um, technique you need to have a high count of polyester in your t-shirt so this is one that is made by Cricut and it is 95 percent polyester so the fibers will pick up on the ink really easily. Um, the lower you go on polyester, the more kind of vintage look you'll get because the polyester is the fiber that actually grabs the ink when you um, press. So that's just something to note. All right, so I have my heat press preheating. I'm trying to get it up to about um, 
like 390 degrees or so and um, I'm going to be pressing it for 55 seconds. So I have my shirt placed evenly here and then I'm going to put a sheet of butcher paper in between the shirt, like the front and the back of the shirt, just to avoid any um, transfer going over to the back. So our butcher paper is now there and then I'm just making sure everything is nice and even. So I'm going to get that placement right where I want it. Okay, I'm gonna place my butcher paper over the top and we're just gonna do a quick press. Looks good. I've done my preliminary press and now I'm just gonna go over and make sure there are no little um, pieces of lint or anything like that because that will mess up our sublimation. All right, I got all the lint off. The next thing I'm going to do is just tear around the edge of this. It can like almost look like there's a border around it. We don't want that. So here's my print. I'm gonna place it right where I want it, like that. I'm gonna place my butcher paper over the top of it to protect it. Okay. And press. I'm starting my timer here. All right, it's been 55 seconds. Let's lift. And carefully take the paper off. Lift this off very gently. It's all very warm. How pretty. All right, so let's get ready for our second design. I'm gonna do right across the front there. So I'm just making sure everything is nice and even. And every time you do a new project, you wanna throw out your old butcher paper and cut fresh pieces. So we have our butcher paper placed underneath. And just like before, we're going to do a press first to get all the wrinkles out. Okay, so the wrinkles are out. I'm going to use my lint roller to get any lint off. Both of the Cricut shirts that I used have come with imperfections on them, which is not cool. This one had it came with a black dot and the last one came with a black dot. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Okay. All right, so this one is minding my own small business. I'm making this one for my sister because she runs the Etsy shop with me. So I'm gonna place this down right where I want it. I'm going to put my butcher paper on the top. And 
and then we are going to press for 55 seconds. All right, it is done. Paper off. It's very hot, so be very careful with this. I am so impressed with how good this looks. The quality is really nice. Look how cute these turned out. I am thrilled with the result. This was really quite simple to do. Um, it really, it's, there's not much of a learning curve. It's super simple. I've always been overwhelmed by the Cricut and the vinyl and the cutting it out and transferring it and all that stuff. This is seriously so simple. It does take some special items like particular um, shirts, you know, with the polyester, the paper, the ink, and that sort of thing. Um, but as far as like once you have the pro the products and the um, once you have the supplies that you need, it's really super super simple. I am so excited about it. I am thinking of all the t-shirt ideas for my Etsy shop. Um, so be on the lookout for those. Once again, I want to thank Woe Coke for sponsoring this video today and for sending me all the supplies that I needed to be able to make these beautiful shirts. Um, again, they have their sublimation paper on Amazon as well as their sublimation ink and other sublimation supplies. So I'll put a link to all the supplies that I used in the video description down below if you want to go check them out. I was super happy with the way the papers turned out. The colors were amazing this ink is awesome I love the way you don't have to transfer the bottles you don't have to do any mess with any of that stuff it just goes right into the Epson printer no issue um, and just look how beautiful this color is I am so happy with it I think it's gorgeous thank you for watching this video today definitely check out the link in the description box to get your own ink and sublimation paper right on Amazon super fast shipping can't beat that so again, thanks for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried sublimation. Are you going to try sublimation? Um, what do you think of the designs that I came up with and um, printed today? So just leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.